In this video we're going to talk about some of the simple ways that you can change the shape of a primitive object and that has to do with this uh, information on the right in the attribute editor and the channel box and these are controlled by these little icons up here in the corner you can click them on and off to make these uh, visible or not and then uh, you click on the tab the uh, the attribute editor is a little more a uh, little more uh, detailed. It's got a bunch of different tabs here. Um, this first one here is probably the most used. This sets uh, the position. It's called translate. We're going to set the x to zero, the y to four, and the z to zero to uh, center up our uh, our cylinder. I'm going to come to the third tab here and this has a, a number of settings for the size and shape first one here is radius you can set this with the slider or you can just type a number in and then the second one is height probably pretty self-explanatory now the next group here are a little bit different. The subdivisions, right now it's 20. Let's see, we can knock this down. And uh, again, you can use a slider or type in a number. And then subdivisions height, right now it's at one, but we can increase that. So there's that, probably pretty obvious. Set it back to one and then subdivisions caps. Now different shapes will have different parameters here. Uh, some some shapes uh, caps and some of these other things don't necessarily make sense. Now here we've got this one little check box at the, box at the bottom called round caps so we'll uh, choose that. There it is made kind of a, uh, a football shape here and uh, you know Maya has a million uh, settings. This one here called Axis. Right now the uh, this is along the y-axis, but we can change that. These are uh, these are vectors. So I'm going to change it to one zero zero. So now it's along the x-axis. Uh, you can make combinations of these. You can uh, you can do all kinds of st stuff with these. Maya actually has a programming language that's a little more useful for dealing with those things but uh, there they are some very basic parameters basic ways you can deal with uh, with some primitive objects and uh, and actually make them into quite complex shapes without uh, without having to dive too deeply into the program